So you're thinking about buying a cabin in North Georgia. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about two of my favorite places in North Georgia. Number one is Big Canoe and the other is Blue Ridge, Georgia. In this video, we're gonna be talking about amenities, things to do, so much more. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, my name is Tim Gibson and I am a licensed realtor in North Georgia. My channel is all about North Georgia and North Georgia real estate. Of course, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're thinking about moving to the area, feel free to reach out. My contact info is below. And if you have any questions about North Georgia real estate, of course, you can always reach out and contact me. I'd be more than happy to help. All right, let's dive into Big Canoe, one of my favorite places in North Georgia. By the way, Big Canoe is just one of the many great North Georgia communities. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Big Canoe and Blue Ridge because I can't hit every single great North Georgia town in one video. But in the next few videos, I will be covering a lot of the great North Georgia towns. So if there's one that you specifically like to know more about, then feel free to leave it in the comments. And I'll make sure to cover the most popular ones in some of my future videos. All right, without further ado, let's jump into some of the basics about Big Canoe. First of all, it's about 60 miles north of Atlanta. It's about an hour and a half drive. Big Canoe is centrally located in between two small North Georgia towns. Dawsonville is about 20 minutes to the east and Jasper is about 20 minutes to the west. Big Canoe is about 8,000 acres and I believe there's about 3,000 residents that live in the neighborhood. 6% of those residents are full-time residents and the rest are weekenders or people who like to go up on the weekends to visit the mountains and get away from it all. Big Canoe is a gated community, so it's kind of like its own small town, but also more just like a giant neighborhood. But they actually do have their own fire station. So let's jump into amenities. Big Canoe is awesome. We go there almost every summer with my family. It's really close by, so you can get there pretty quickly and there's a bunch of stuff to do. Big Canoe has three different lakes. It also has its own marina for you to store your boat and get out on the lake. You can go fishing. I think they stock one of the lakes with trout so you can do some trout fishing in the neighborhood. One of my family's favorite spots in Big Canoe is the beach club. The beach club is connected to the fitness center. So there's an indoor pool, there's a workout area there. There's an outdoor pool that sits right on a beach, which is on Disharoon Lake right there. In the lake, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. There's a beach area, like I mentioned, there's volleyball courts. You can rent kayaks, paddle boards, paddle boats. There's a swimming area right there too. And my kid's favorite spot in the entire neighborhood is the giant rock slide. Once you slide down this rock slide, I don't know how long it is. I'd say it's about 100, maybe 150 feet. And when you slide all the way down and you get down to the bottom, you hit the water and it's ice cold mountain water. It's so much fun. My kids and I have spent hours sliding down the rock slide, going back up the stairs, sliding again. I mean, it's so much fun. Also, Big Canoe has a lot of nature trails, so you can do a lot of hiking within the neighborhood. There's another area called the Wildcat Recreation Area, which has its own pool, outdoor pool, and playgrounds and some other stuff to do there. And for you golfers out there, there's 27 holes of golf in Big Canoe. So plenty of places for you to get out there and, and swing the sticks a little bit. Big Canoe does not have a grocery store inside the neighborhood, even though it's a massive neighborhood with about 3000 residents. Your closest grocery store would be the Foothills IGA market, which I'd say is about five to 10 minutes from the main gate. The area surrounding Big Canoe is pretty rural. So if you're gonna do any other shopping, like if you're gonna do clothes shopping or other stuff like that, you're either gonna to need to drive to Dawsonville, like I said, is about 20 minutes east, or Jasper, which is about 20 minutes west. So let's jump into real estate a little bit. Big Canoe has something for everyone. They have these little tree topper cabins, which are cool little places to buy. It's got usually like one or two bedrooms. And uh, those are about 300,000 right now. You can go all the way through the spectrum from 300,000 and their houses listed that are either on the lake or way up in the mountains that are uh, almost $2 million. So if you want a small little place to get away in the mountains, you can buy one of those little tree toppers or something a little smaller. But if you want a mansion out in the woods on top of a peak somewhere, you can also buy that in Big Canoe. They really is something for everyone. As far as average sales price for the neighborhood, you're looking at somewhere in the $570,000 range. Median days on market is a great indicator of how fast real estate is selling, of course, in a particular area. 
And in Big Canoe, as of the end of July 2022, the median days on market is only four. So those houses are really going quick, kind of across the price spectrum there. Definitely something for you to keep in mind if you're looking to buy a place in Big Canoe. And as of the shooting of this video in 2022, it's in August 2022 right now, there is a capital contribution to the POA when you buy a house, the Property Owners Association. So if you were to buy a house in Big Canoe, you would need to pay $3,000. That's a mandatory contribution. Something to keep in mind if you're looking to buy in the neighborhood. There is an HOA fee, of course, it is a HOA neighborhood. And last time I looked, it was somewhere in the $4,000 per year range, which roughly ends up being about $336 a month or something like that. That pretty much does it for Big Canoe. Of course, this isn't an exhaustive deep dive into Big Canoe, but if you have any more questions on the neighborhood itself or what's close by, you know, always leave me a comment or send me a text or give me a phone call. Now let's jump into Blue Ridge, Georgia, another one of my favorite small towns in North Georgia. As far as distance from Atlanta, it's a little further north than Big Canoe. It's about an hour and 40 minutes roughly from Atlanta. Very small town. Even though Big Canoe, like I mentioned earlier, has about 3,000 residents and that's a gated community, Blue Ridge is a town, of course, and it's only got about 1,200 residents. So you can see the difference there. For the most part, Blue Ridge is a vacation town. It's kind of centered on tourism, but there are some full-time residents there, but a lot of people just have cabins up there in Blue Ridge. My family and I have also stayed in Blue Ridge quite a few times just for fun to get away for the weekend or whatever. Lots of fun things to do in Blue Ridge, so I wanna cover those right now. Blue Ridge Scenic Railway is a lot of fun. You can get your tickets, get on the train, and you go up to Tennessee and then you come back, they've got a dining car where you can get snacks and treats and stuff like that on the train, which is a lot of fun. Kids love it. Also, if you're into trout fishing, Blue Ridge is one of the best locations in North Georgia. You've got the Tacoa River close by and some other rivers. If you wanted to get into some trout fishing, do some fly fishing, you'll have no shortage of places to go close to Blue Ridge. If you are looking for something outdoors, there are, I believe there's somewhere around 16 waterfalls within a short drive of Blue Ridge. You can basically just make a weekend or a, a two or three day trip and you can see all the waterfalls close to Blue Ridge and they're all amazing. So definitely check those out. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but I believe it's Mercier Orchards. The last time I stayed in Big Canoe on the river with my family, we stopped at Mercier Orchards on the way out. I believe it's the biggest apple orchard in the South. And the store they have is, I don't know, I'd probably say 20,000 square feet. It's massive. You can buy anything apple related there. You can also pick your own apples a uh, really fun place to go with the kids, especially in the fall. The town square area in Blue Ridge is a lot of fun too. It's right there by the railroad. Lots of great shops, great restaurants, of course, a lot of fun stuff to do there. So definitely check out the square. One thing I wanted to mention too, and I actually went here with my family last time we were in Blue Ridge, we went to the Bigfoot Museum. Yes, you heard that right. It's basically like the history of Sasquatches around the world and you can see some crazy stuff. We had a blast there and if you are interested in Bigfoot or you want to find out more about Bigfoot, this is your place. As you can see here, grocery stores, this is different than Big Canoe since Big Canoe is a big gated community and Blue Ridge is more of a town of course. You've got plenty of places to go shopping and you wouldn't have to drive very far to get to a grocery store, of course, unless you're really far out. Over the last couple of years, Blue Ridge has completely exploded. Lots of people from all over the country are buying places in Blue Ridge. And if you look here on this chart, you can actually see that the average sales price has gone all the way up to about $850,000. Not to say that you can't find something a little cheaper there, but it's becoming more of a luxury vacation town. So if you are looking for sort of a high-end place to live or a second place in the mountains, then Blue Ridge would be a good place for you to look at. Of course, I always like to hit days on market or average days on market in a given area to give you an idea of how quickly homes are selling. And as you can see in this chart here, Blue Ridge, you're looking at somewhere around nine days on market. Nine days on market is pretty quick still. So, you know, if you're looking for a house in the area, you can expect for it to sell, you know, within 10 days or less. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in Blue Ridge or Big Canoe or one of the surrounding North Georgia towns, always give me a call. My contact info is below. That's my guide to Big Canoe and Blue Ridge. If you have any questions about these two locations, Big Canoe and Blue Ridge, 
or any of the surrounding areas, please leave me a comment. I'd be happy to answer that for you. Have a great day and thank you so much for watching. And of course, we will see you on the next video.